and I, I um, uh, but I'm glad I watched that yesterday. I thought, oh, because because I'm on his his news feed, and I saw it, so I clicked on it, and and it was just you know the title of that talk, and I thought, oh, well, that would be interesting. He, he gave an excellent talk about five years ago about the history of money. Yeah, absolutely excellent. Yeah, I mean, he's, he 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 is a brilliant guy. I mean, I think he's a, a brilliant guy. Um, I just distrust his political motivations. For me, do you see what mm. I mean? Um, but yeah, I, you know, I, I've got a problem, where, where, I've got where, a problem with him. You know, right. when he talks, I do. You know, I listen in the same way I, when when Taleb talks, I listen. Or you know, there, there, there are plenty of people I disagree with politically but i do listen when they say well look here's my take on it because yeah. there's a you know there's there's so much in that it's, it's only like a like a 25 minute talk and then a q a afterwards but man it's it really is really very good okay. um, and that series of links i sent to you earlier which i sent to uh john at the slog it's worth following that through and it's very much worth watching the young guy interviewing Roger Hallam at the big green Chepstow event in 2019, right? And if you read the description, the guy sets out Hallam and Gail Bradbrook. I followed it there from a uh, a blog, something nowhere blog, which I put in the thing. What One thing the guy, he's a poet, this guy, uh, and he's done a poem based on one of uh, Ezra Pound's cantos, which is very good. Uh, um, uh, I mean, he's obviously a pretty switched on guy. Uh, uh, and uh, I, with Hallam, he doesn't really give Hallam enough rope to hang himself. So it, it's more of a uh, it's more of a polemical debate as opposed to an interview. Yeah. If you see what I mean, because he, he he spends a lot of time putting a position, and and that doesn't really pin down Hallam properly on what Hallam stands for. Hallam basically adopts the uh, tutorial, donish, academic talking down to student approach, which means that he's not actually put to proof on his own positions. But it's worth watching all the same, and and the description in the video is definitely worth reading. Um, and of course, my my point to John is is that all of this stuff. Um, I, I've just been re-listening to our chat in June two thousand and nineteen, and the blog I did that that's embedded in. Um, all of this stuff that has come as a surprise to so many that have been shocked by what happened with um the lockdowns and the uh event actually that's what we should start calling it event 201 right because that's what it was it was event 201 event 201 the rehearsal and event 201 the actual performance are the same thing so I, I, actually i'm going to start calling it so event 201 so response to the pandemic you know the event 201 john hopkins Gates, no. but you haven't have you not watched it no wow you know right okay there there have been two role-playing uh, symposiums based around a global pandemic the first one was called cladex and the second one was called event 201 and event 201 took place in november 20 uh, november 2019 and they it, it, it's a role play and it's got all uh, TV interviews, all the people discussing what the responses to misinformation should be and all the rest of it. It's basically what happened. Uh, I, right. So it's a little bit like, you know, um, uh, uh, terror drills and false flags and, and stuff like that. Right. Event 201 was the equivalent of a drill which was which could have been presented as the false flag but event 201 was the drill event 201 the movie the pandemic response the response to the flu season of 2020 that was the false flag right but um 
as early as the 1st of April, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, I made some satirical sort of video compilations and like Wu Hang and then his dog and, uh, you know, I am a vi the virus that, 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 um, let's see, many of us smelt a rat pretty much from the get go and event to a one surfaced fairly early on in the process as well. Right. So, um, in fact, my Wuhan and his dog actually does have Event 201 cut into uh, uh, footage of, of BBC's One Man and His Dog Sheep Jog program, for instance. But um, so at the present juncture, a lot of people are saying, oh, my God, you know, the adverse reactions to the um, uh, clot shots or whatever you know there's this and we're finding this and the, the labs and the this and the that right um, those things have been well known to uh, people crowded out of the discourse for many years okay so for instance um, if you go back and reread well David made the program about the lab the lab leak hypothesis you know for channel four yeah right so my, my criticism of the alternative media echo chamber which i count myself as one of and 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 you and john at the slog um what tends to happen is we get very embroiled in our own in-group and don't look out for for triangulation in external sources that are actually arguing for a different solution to the emerging narratives yeah um and um so that's why when we're talking about you know we are you still there Ranger? i am indeed yeah yeah so um anyway uh, uh do you remember the word uh, semanticity? You, 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 you told me this word uh, in, in our talk of the 28th of June 2019, right? Really? I can't you remember. Did. And semanticity is one of Charles Hockett's 16 design features of language. Semanticity refers to the use of arbitrary or non-arbitrary signals to transmit meaningful messages. <laughs> so uh, that that's kind of where I'd got to with my frustrations about um, the interpretation put on particular viewpoints as to where we're at, whereas where we're at is where we're always at. If we're in the uh, in the masses, we are um, trying to maintain as well as claw back uh liberties which have been um ebbing and flowing uh since um it, well basically since runnymede since magna carta in fact there is a poem about runnymede i forget who wrote it but but um uh hold on runnymede poem let's just get that up um runnymede poem Yeah, it's Kipling, the reeds of Runnymead. Right, let's just see if my recollection of this is going to ring any bells. Right, OK. Uh, Runnymead at Runnymead, what say the reeds at Runnymead? The lissom reeds that give and take, that bend so far but never break. They keep the sleepy Thames awake with tales of John at Runnymead. At Runnymede, at Runnymede, oh, hear the reeds at Runnymede. You mustn't sell, delay, deny a freeman's right or liberty. Right? <laughs> it makes the stubborn Englishry. We saw them roused at Runnymede. When through our ranks the barons came, with little thought of praise or blame, but resolute to play the game, they lumbered up to Runnymede. And there they launched in solid time the first attack on right divine. The curt and compromising sign that settled John at Runnymede. Right? At Runnymede, at Runnymede, your rights were won at Runnymede. 
no freeman shall be fined or bound or dispossessed of freehold ground except by lawful judgment found and passed upon him by his peers forget not after all these years the charter signed at runnymede and still when marble monarch lays to rude a hand on english ways the whisper wakes the shudder plays across the reeds at runnymede and thames that knows the moods of kings and crowds and priests and such like things rolls deep and dreadful as he brings their warning down from runnymede i'd be interested if david davis is is familiar with that poem i'd be surprised if he isn't yeah it's brilliant i mean it, it's all in there right so that's that's a late 19th century early 20th century poem a kipling i nearly bought kipling's old house once actually when i moved out of london that's just a, a funny little aside <laughs> but there we are there we are yeah yeah I, i'm not sure i think um i think maybe david davis is back in penny mordaunt um well as i say it doesn't really matter who's backing who um john's in the slog yesterday um does lay out a scenario whereby there is a coalition cross-party government to see us through the crisis um uh what i would ask david davis is is why don't you do that if you want liberty and clearly there are a lot of issues at the moment it's not just about boris it's not just about the tory party it's about starmer the labor party all of that stuff the sort of stuff that drove you to resign your shadow home secretary position right all those years ago and the stuff you were talking about in 2005 right so surely it makes all in the sense to get patriotic and constitutionally um constitutionally loyal mps to do the vote of no confidence but in but actually put in that coalition similar to the atley churchill coalition that dealt with the second world war because the world is in turmoil, right? And, and that's what's required. And so, you know, we need to uh, bear Kipling's words in mind here. Okay. And, and that's what we need to do. We have to oust the rump party, uh, the, the rump parliament. We have to dismiss the Whig junto. OK, so I mean, if anyone watches this, if you put it up, I, I, I won't have time. Um, people who don't know what the Whig junto is, OK, really don't know how and why the parliament is as it currently is. Right. So and so a, a lot of those links I sent you today, that history is is kind of in there. So it's like working class history, which is no longer taught or access, certainly not accessible through the internet because um, that stuff hasn't been ported into uh, the internet and certainly is filtered out by the algorithms because it's, it's the good stuff. You know, it's the stuff that really does describe why we are where we where we are at now. And of course, on the Internet, everyone's an, everyone's an expert, but it's like everybody has access to all knowledge, but knows absolutely nothing. So that's that library. That, I mean, that's the, um, you know, that link that my computer guy sent to me about the uh, I mean, I can find it and quote it, but I, I just don't want, you know, all of this stuff is on my blog, which is currently up in the air again at the moment, as, as it had been at the time of that June. That's when I said synchronicity or what, when we were talking about, you know, when I, um, semanticity, which is a word you made me aware of, but obviously it must have been something you were reading at the time. Um, but there, there, there you go. I mean, this is where we're at right the the
the banquet of liberty is spread before us, right? And the barriers to accessing that banquet are clearly defined. We can see them. They have had to reveal themselves because of event 201, right? And people like David Davis will feel a burning um, obligation, duty to have us realize these things. Um, you know, I, that, that, that's that's where we're at. Um, and, 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 and meanwhile, it's it's like blogging while Rome burns, if you see what I mean. Mm. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to start heading down. I think I've missed my opportunity to film him because if I go down there now, I'll be there in roughly half an hour, which is 10 minutes before um, Prime Minister's Question Time. Which I oh, is it PMQs? Oh, right. OK. Is Boris... Yeah, he, he will attend that, so... Right, because um, they so, they refused to vote no confidence because it was both the government and the prime minister, which which hadn't been done since the days of Harold Wilson. Apparently, I'd read on the. Yeah, I mean, I haven't read any of that. I mean, I know I know they refused it, but I, I mean, I didn't see too much. But like I said. Um, I will probably take my laptop down so that. If I can get to somewhere with a plug point, I might be able yeah, to. Yeah, I, I, you know, I tell you what, get get a video of David Davis reading this poem. There's the link. Yeah, I, I really don't think I'm going to get David Davis because he was there this morning. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, you know, what, well, you know, that if you do or if you don't, it doesn't matter. But but there's the link. That's really important. That's all people really need to know. Yeah, Roger, I got this yesterday. What's that? Uh, oh, the invention of green colonialism. OK. <laughs> yeah. Cool. By a guy called, funnily enough, the guy's name is Guillaume Blanc, which transfers to Will White. Um, and um, yeah, it's translated from French and it's to do with the impact of uh, do-gooders, as in UNESCO, WWF and other organisations who, who, who destroy, basically the West the more organizations in the West appear to feel guilty about the destruction that technology can bring, etc., mm. uh, the more they imagine Africa potentially as a place that can be fixed. Mm -hmm. And so then they push people off land in order to have wild parks that they say, oh, look, you know, I don't know if it's Jurassic Park, I don't know what it is, but they're trying to say, mm. look, we're preserving nature. By doing that, they push people off the land and do all sorts of bad yeah. stuff. Mate, just like that, that, re rewilding. Spot on. Spot on. Just like... The, but uh, let me tell you, I sent another link, which, which is um, uh, off a, a blog that glories in the name of... Um, oh, here it is. Look here. Let me put this link in too. Uh, here we are. Agenda 21, right? This, this guy comments on the slog. He's changed his moniker recently, right? Re read that. I, this is the part of the links I sent earlier. And then also read this, which is about why they've arrested Assange, what, what, what that was about. So this was in April 2019, right? And the other one was in May 2020, right? You know, there it all is. Now, um, all all John's rhetoric about the one in eight and, you know, we're the, un, it, you know, we all understand this stuff, right? That it's way more than one in eight people have got many parts of this jigsaw puzzle. But put the put, full picture together, put it all together everybody has to talk to each other and have a central repository rather than being in I, I hate the word silos but but the internet is built on silos so this is echo chambers right and and 
the design of the internet as it currently stands, right, with HTTP, URLs, the whole nine yards of it, the way the design has been evolved is to keep people in silos and stop them from getting a picture of the whole one, right? And anyone that cleaves to the left, right, or any of the other um, rainbow coalition of LGBTQ XYZ to the nth, right? Okay. That sort of promotion is promoting silos to do the internets, to, to do the work of what uh, Janice Varifukis calls the cloud. Um, cloud feudalism, right? Now, it, uh, it, it's very, very clear, okay? And um, the other thing that the internet does a lot is promotes ego. People need to read Osho and Ego the False Center. They really need to read that. You know, and, 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 begin with Socrates words in mind, the unexamined life is not worth living. Right, that, that, that's where we're at. I mean, I can, I, I honestly, I can feel it. I, I can feel the, the meeting of minds, you know, the light bulbs going off. This is the morphic rev resonance aspect of, the the consciousness cloud the cloud of consciousness and 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 um that doesn't mean that everybody love will 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 adore each other and will all sit around a campfire singing kumbaya that that's not what human consciousness and fraternity is about you know we will still disagree with each other we will still have arguments with each other but the thing that we can agree upon is liberty love life liberty and the pursuit of happiness for fuck's sake that you know that's in the american constitution which is you know one of the higher accomplishments of human uh bureaucratic language is the American Constitution, as I said to you the other day, the Pakistani Constitution is brilliant. I mean, I've not met many other people that have read it, but I, you know, I, I, I read it about eight or nine years ago because I was having a political argument with some philosophy group. Um, so, I mean, I, you know, this is the thing. Um, that's that's where we're at. So in real life, down on College Green at the moment, you know, these are the substantive issues that we need to be talking about, not about tax cuts, not about spend and tax or the cut, you know, all of those things. Right. It's more it's more elemental. It's more fundamental than that. You know, we've got to get in amongst the reeds at Runnymede here. We really, really have to get deep down into the into the the bottom of, of those reeds into the muck it, 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 it you know it, that's where we come from and that's what we've got to get back in touch with yeah one of any, the thing one of the things that david davis said yesterday i said you know we looked at your wikipedia he said what's that and i said he said is that any of that true i said anyway look we looked at your wikipedia and we clocked that you stepped down in 2008 a shadow home affairs to, to, to rerun for your constituency as an MP on a civil liberties ticket to promote the idea of civil liberties, he looked at me and he said, yeah, we got rid of ID cards. You know, he, yeah. You know, he, uh, and so then I said to him, well, look, Rishi's about Ardha. Hmm. Um, obviously, Lynn Truss as well, because the thing about Liz Truss is, um, do you ever hear that track I did, um, I'm Dreaming of a Brown Brexit? Um, I recorded a song. I'm dreaming of a brown yeah, brown. I, I, yeah, I, I couldn't <laughs> recite it to you, but yes, I do remember you did that, and I did watch it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is a shame that you couldn't recite it because <laughs> it only had <laughs> it, 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 it only had uh, about two or four lines. Right. Um, okay. I'm dreaming, and I did it to the sound of White Christmas. I'm dreaming 
of a brown Brexit, just like the one we always knew would come. And then here comes the uh, the, the good bit. In 2020 or 2021, and at 9 p.m. on the 31st of December 2021, they put the story about the India trade deal. And it said Boris was up for it. And it said that Liz Trust was up for it, too. And the, the, the person who opposed it that was biggest in the cabinet was uh, Priti Patel. So actually, yeah. they're, all, they're all up for it. They're all up for it. I mean, I don't know if Penny Morden understands it, but they're all up for it. So I was saying to David Davis, look, Aadhaar, biometric ID, that is coming. Um, and he looked at me and he said, that is something about which we will have to be uh, very cautious in the future. And so that it was on that basis that I said I wanted to talk mm. to him. Yeah. So, um, yeah, OK, obviously I haven't got him today. But, yeah. um Mate, we 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 are be- we're on the money with that. I'm not saying we understand everything, but we have been knocking, banging, pushing, and shoving on a firmly bolted shut door. They really mm. don't want us to go beyond that door. They don't yeah, and want was, that. I- that. That's why the movie was basically shadow banned. It wasn't released. You know the yeah, the Ardar reset- movie. I, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if you ever got a chance to try and speak to the producer, but, you know. Th- th- oh, yeah, the feature film. I remember because we watched yeah. the doc. You talk about yeah. the feature film. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I, I mean, I, I've got the, tra- the trailer for the, the trailer for the future feature film is on my BitShoot channel with subtitles because I ripped yeah. it off when I found it off the web. And I did put subtitles on it. Yeah, well, it it's in Urdu mm. or whatever. But, but I... I I, I did it. I got a translation done online and put it in there because I felt it was so important. Yeah, the other thing that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find out who is interested in civil liberties in Parliament so that I know at least that I can talk to them. Um, and um, because whoever they are, whoever their assistants are, and stuff like that. It's going to have yeah. to go like that. I mean, the, you brush up on your public choice theory, because that's the near liberal sort of Bible is, is is public choice theory, which which Adam Curtis uh, uh, made the famous documentary. Fuck you, buddy. You know, okay. the yeah. Um, and, and public choice theory is basically one dollar, one vote, not one one person, one vote, one citizen, one vote. Yeah. OK, well. I think I'm going to head down there now. Anyway, that way I'll be there for PMQs. Yeah. Um, I'm looking to. Um, All right, mate. Well, look, good, good luck with that. And I'll be seeing you in the next few weeks. Like I say, I'll, I'll be back on back in the great country, back back in the land of my fathers by tomorrow afternoon. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. You know, I kept on thinking it would be coming through. All right, great. Well, um, have a great journey and um, yeah, talk to you very soon. Brilliant. Cheers, Rajan. Bye. Bye. Bye.